is it going, guys? A little talk today about uh, a recent computer that I put Linux on. Uh, and uh, coffee time. Cheers. Oh, that's hot. That's real hot. Will Smith meme, hot. Okay, so I recently got this Linux, this computer, and put Linux on it. It came with Windows. So, as some of you might know, I did a video, a couple videos back about how to install Linux. And I was going to install it on this computer, but I didn't have a dongle. So what we have here is an Asus ZenBook. And sorry for the poor lighting and camera. It's just I'm working with what I got right now. So please consider liking, subscribing, maybe even supporting on Patreon if you want to see higher quality content as I'll be improving in the future as I go. But what we have here is a, a, a computer that is a, I want to say the model number, but it's so tiny on here that I can barely see it. And this lighting is not actually helping. Okay, write this down. It is a Asus ZenBook UX370U. Okay, so it's one of their little fancier, nicer models, small screen. And it came with Windows on it. It also does this. It does this sort of thing. You can flip it over. So, this came with Windows 10. And when I first booted it up, I had to go get drivers for Windows for this. It wasn't properly installed, apparently. And everything was just glitchy. And I thought I had a lemon of a computer. I kid you not. Like, I bought this little USB dongle. It's a pretty cheap one, but it just started glitching out. Now, this computer is all USB-C. I know I'm really scattered in this order. I didn't plan this at all. I just started recording. So, only USB-C on this thing. So, I had to get a USB-C dongle, and then, hey, I could mess with it more. So, I did that. Got a little wireless mouse, too, over here. And, uh, yeah, on, on Windows, it was just glitching out. It was just kept... It kept saying device not recognized, etc., etc. So it was like, whatever, okay. Well, at least I got it. I'm going to just mess around and see if I can get Linux on there. So I took my little MX Linux USB from a couple videos ago and plugged this thing in. And lo and behold, it just installed like nothing. It was very easy. I did have to go to the BIOS, of course, which I think was F2 or F2. I don't remember. I think it was F2 on this computer or Escape, one of those. And I did have to turn Safe Boot off uh, after I installed. But during the install, I didn't really have to do a whole lot. It was already configured in a way that just took MX Linux. So all I had to do was pop in the USB drive and go through the install. And I just wiped Windows because it was not working right anyway. So what's the point, you know? There were a few other weird glitches going on. There were just you know, it wasn't even a usable computer with Windows on it, basically. And I would have had to done, have done either a reinstall of Windows or troubleshoot for days messing with who knows what. So Linux just seemed like a fun option. And it, it has been a really fun option. Everything works flawlessly on here. Including this dongle. No errors. It just it works. It's a recognized device. And it is working with the USB-C. Now, uh... So I was able to just get all the packages I wanted installed on MX Linux here to do the development I want. And that's all going pretty fine. What I was really looking for was any functional type of bugs or anything like that. Because that always annoys me when I get some new laptop or computer, put Linux on it, and then it just doesn't... Something that comes with a laptop just doesn't function. Like maybe the backlight keyboard or the trackpad or, or the touchscreen. Like something just doesn't work right. And that's always frustrating. That didn't happen. Everything works great. All these uh, hotkeys up here seem to work fine. Uh, the keyboard brightness hotkeys work. The keyboard illuminates from complete, you can turn it completely off to as bright as it gets. Same with the screen, all that works here just fine on the ZenBook. So I would highly recommend the ZenBook uh, for a Linux computer if you just want a mobile Linux computer and don't want to pay uh, two grand for a pine book with, you know, or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, all these keys seem to work fine. We got volume controls and we got a power button. 
and uh, I really don't have any complaints. It even it even does the flippy thing just fine. I don't know if it rotates. Let's see if it rotates. No. So it doesn't auto rotate. That's one thing they're missing. Maybe there's something I can install to fix that. But I believe with this model it's supposed to. Not 100% on that actually. Because when you flip it, oh wait, yeah, it's supposed to. You can hold it like, like so and it should rotate. So that's like the only thing that doesn't really function. But if the backlight keyboard is working and all the mouse stuff's working fine, Actually, I really love their mouse support. They have a uh, MX Linux has like a mouse and touchpad center, and they you can configure every different pointing device. And I found that to be very nice when getting this thing set up. Oh, I like it. So yeah, I guess that's it. In my experience with this computer, Linux has been better than Windows, um, pretty significantly. So really considering I couldn't even use the computer with Windows with its odd glitches and it not recognizing hardware. And I don't know if that's Windows fault or if it was the install, but hardware wise, everything seems perfect on this computer. So it was definitely a software glitch and Linux just kind of confirmed that. Well, thanks for watching my video. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what computer you got for Linux and how that's working out for you. But this ZenBook, UX370U is, I'm loving it with MX Linux. Linux. Alright, peace out guys.